Before starting, I will warn you that this effect is going to be heavy. And if you are not afraid of destroying your PC, then don't skip the second chapter. First of all, let's tweak some Blender settings, go into Edit, Preferences, and in the Add-on section Search Node Wrangler, enable it. This allows you to set up materials quickly. Now that it is enabled, you have to find high-quality textures. Go to Ambient CG. They have huge library of displacement textures. Choose any you like. Just make sure you do the 8K version for best results. Now, after downloading it, extract the zip file. This displacement map is what we need. In the shader editor, select the principled node and press Ctrl plus Shift plus T. Select the displacement node After that, it will still work as a bump effect. This is because you haven't changed the setting of the material. Go down and change this to displacement and bump. Now to get more detail, you need a subdivision modifier. Add it and change this value to something high, but don't go too high like I did, because I am using this plane which only had one face, but your mesh can have a lot of faces. So be careful with this value. But this is where adaptive sampling comes in. Go into the properties and change this to experimental. Now there will be a new option, enable it. What it does is that it displaces close faces more than the far ones. Now that you know how it all works, let's start by creating this effect. For this, you need to add noise to your displacement texture. What you can do is get my free procedural details pack and take this randomizer node and plug it right here. It also comes with a premium version, which has an animated option. You can get all of my packs for a discount with the link in the description. When you will add the randomizer node, you will already see the result. Change the mid-level to zero, and that's it. To get this emission effect, add a color ramp, play with it and duplicate. Try to make this line as thin as possible. Plug the displacement texture into the emission and you are good to go. You can also add subsurface scattering for some skin look. Let's do a material transition. I am going to cut the displacement for now, just to create masks. I have two separate materials. This is just an example. You can change these to whatever you want. Add a mix shader. This factor value works in which zero means black and one means white. Add a gradient texture, press Ctrl plus T. Plug object in the mapping and add an empty. Select that empty here. You can see that when you move this empty, this gradient will react to it, animate its location. You will notice that it is very sharp. To fix, just add a noise texture and a mix color Connect both like this and change this to color burn. Now that you have made your mask, you can plug it in the factor. This is very basic and to level it up, add a mix color in the displacement map. Connect the mask into the factor and add a black color on top. Click on the node while pressing Ctrl plus Shift to get this quick look. Now, when you connect everything back, you will get this animation, but you can still improve it by duplicating the empty and move its keyframes forward. Something like 10 will work. Now duplicate the mask we made earlier and select the other empty here. Add another mix color. And this time add it on top and change this to black. Now you will get this great look. The animation you saw in the beginning of this video was little different because I have used another displacement texture. So every texture gives different result. You can support the channel by buying my asset packs. Links are in the description. Make sure to subscribe and follow me on Instagram and watch this video for cinematic renders.